Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to complete projection for the intersecting lines. Let me read this problem statement first. So over the screen, you can see the problem statement. Complete the projections of horizontal line MN to be intersect line AB. So in a given figure, you can see that we have one vertical line in a front view, which is nothing but the line MF BF and to that they have given top view projection like this point AH and BH and in top view projection they have given the intersecting line MH and H over here and this will be the intersecting point DH now to solve this problem first of all we need to complete the side view projection there we will get the intersecting point DH over this line AB so we have to complete projections for this point A F B F by drawing a horizontal projection lines like this over here and these top few points A H and B H we are going to project in an upward direction so that we can have that intersection line in a side view projection somewhat over here and there we are going to project this intersecting point and once we get that point the same intersecting point we can transfer in a front view by drawing a projection lines parallel to this x axis so which will give us the exact location of this point d in a front view projection that we are going to name it as a point df over here and as per the given problem statement we come to know that in a front view projection we need to draw a horizontal line m n which will intersect this line A. So once we find that intersecting point D, it will be very easy to have that horizontal line M N in a front view projection. And that we will get once we complete this projection for this point M H in upward direction. Again, this point N H in upward direction. And over this horizontal line, we will have that exact position for this line M N. So let's start with this. So already I have drawn the same figure with some appropriate distances over here. So let me explain this. So this is nothing but the x y axis. This is nothing but the x1 y1 axis. And these are the two offset lines that I have drawn at a distance of 15 mm on either side of this x y axis. Again you will find these two offset lines along this line x1 y1 on either side at a distance of 15 mm and I have selected this point AF and BF in a vertical manner so that we can have this given projection as per the reference figure and this point BF we have taken at a distance of 19.2 and this point AF we have at a distance of 51 from this point BF Again, if we just look out over the top view projection, we have this line AH, BH. To that point AH, we have taken distance 17.4. So, this projection I have completed randomly and later on I have given dimension for this. So, in this case, instead of focusing over these given dimensions, we are going to look how to complete the intersecting lines. So you can take any appropriate distance as per your convenience and to that we are going to complete all these intersecting projections. And this point BH we have at a distance of 60.4 and this point MH I have taken along this line AH and from that I have drawn this inclined line to which we have inclinations 55 degree. Now let's start for this. Now, if we just look at this given problem, we have line AB in a front view as well as in a top view projection. So, from this we come to know that we can easily complete projections in a side view. And that we are going to draw by means of drawing the projections parallel to this XY axis. Now, make sure that we are, we are in projection layer. Select that. Go with the line command just turn on this ortho mode command 
select this point A and from that we are going to draw horizontal projection lines at any convenient distance so that we can have intersecting point over there again draw a horizontal projection line starting from this point B up as well like this press enter button to come out of this again we need to draw a projection line from this point AH as well select this center point draw the horizontal projection till this 45 degree incline line because from that intersecting point onwards we are going to draw vertical lines again draw a horizontal projection line from this point BH as well select this center point and draw a horizontal line till this 45 degree incline now once we complete this just bring out these extra portions that we have by means of this trim command press enter button select these two lines and just bring out that extra portion again go with this line command select this point move that projection in upward direction so that we can have intersection with respect to this horizontal projection line and if you just look out this given diagram carefully we have this point A up over here to that we have drawn this horizontal projection line and we have this point AH in the topic projection over here to that we have completed horizontal projection till this 45 degree plan line and from that in our upward direction so this will give us intersecting points over there okay so similarly we are going to find projection for this point BH as well again go with this line command select this intersecting point move your cursor in upward direction till this intersecting point so somewhat over here we will have that intersecting point now just turn off this alpha mode command change this layer option go with the line command select this intersecting point and this intersecting so this is nothing but the projection for this line AB in a side view okay, so this is nothing but the projection for the line AB in a side view now let me name this go with the single line text press in the button and here you can mention this line by naming A and B like this okay so just press escape button you can move this text by selecting your letter like this move your letter in the downward direction We have completed the projection in a side view. Now, once we complete that side view projection, we are going to project this intersecting point BH over there. So, just first of all, name it this intersecting point. Press in the button. So, this will be the point BH. like this and move it somewhat like this now but additionally I have given namings in large size so that we can identify which are the new intersecting points we have obtained now just focus over this intersecting point DH in a topic projection again change this layer to the projection go with the line command select this intersecting point draw a exact horizontal line just turn on this auto mode command press escape button again from this intersection move this projection line in upward direction and somewhat over here you will have that intersecting point now before that just turn off this O snap of this midpoint press ok go with the line command select this intersecting point and move in upward direction ok directly you can turn off this or snap from this status bar 
like this so with the line command select this intersecting point Again, you can turn it on and trim this extra portion that we have drawn over here for this point B as well, for this point A, like this. And press escape button. So, this is nothing but the intersecting point we have obtained for this side view projection. The same intersecting point we are going to use to project a horizontal line in a front view. Before that, let me new naming for this point this will be the point B just change it to the layer okay. again go with this projection layer select line command select this intersecting point draw a horizontal line like this press escape now as per the given problem statement, complete the projection of horizontal line M and which will intersect line AB. So if you just look out the given figure over here, we don't have a horizontal line in a top view, which means that we need to complete the projection of horizontal line M and in the front view somewhat over here, okay, and which will intersect this line AB. So already we have this intersecting point in a side view so the same intersecting point we can project to the left side okay so this is nothing but the intersecting point being in a front view so let me give naming for that point as well so that you will have one clear cut idea where we are going to locate this point so this will be the point D This will be the point DF we have over here. So this is nothing but the intersecting over here. Now to have this exact horizontal line M and we need to project these two points, this one and this one, in a vertically upward manner, and that will intersect over this horizontal projection. Go with this line command, select this point. Move your cursor in upward direction so that we can have this intersecting point over here like this. Press enter. Similarly, you have to select this point NH. Move your cursor upward direction so that we can have that projection till this horizontal line. Like this. Again, just trim out this extra portion by selecting this trim command. So these are the extra portions. And to highlight this horizontal line M in your front view, just change this layer option to the default. Go with the line command and draw a horizontal line from this point to this point. So this is nothing but the front view projection for this line M and let me complete nomenclature for this. So this will be the point. These are the projections for this horizontal line M, F, and N, F in a front. Like this. So we need to measure the distances for this horizontal line. Go with this linear measurement. Select these two points. And we have that measurement 61.4. So just change that layer to the projection. So we have horizontal line M, F and F equals to 61.4. So this is our required actual solution for this given problem statement. Thank you.